a problem uh, flight discount so what the problem statement is you need to uh, travel from city 1 to city n and you need to print the cheapest route like uh, what is the minimum cost uh, that is giving you you need to take that path and provided that condition you know you can make any edge way two by two so first of all i hope you read the question so yeah let us let us go to the solution like uh, yeah most of the people uh, you know the first idea that that will be coming to our mind is uh, you know use dextras and while you are using the dextras algorithm what is the maximum edge that you will get uh, make sure you use the open to that edge weight and you can compute the minimum price right but that doesn't work directly like why it doesn't work we'll just see first of all that case and then we'll we'll see the solution like if you are going to, so first of all uh, take this graph as an example so if you're gonna apply dextras to this algorithm so the shortest path that it will give you from traveling one to four right we need to travel from one to four then it will give you a path which will con contain 50 and 50 as an edge weights right so now you will make it as by two so which will give you a 25 so now the total cost will be 75 right from traveling one to n using the open right so now if you gonna look at this other route uh, which will be containing 1 and 120 and now if you can use the open on this on this edge weight which is 120 then it will give you 60 and your total cost will be 61 right your, your total cost will be 61 so uh, you know so here you can you can see like the short always the shortest path you know the maximum edge weight in the shortest path uh, using the open to that edge weight won't give you the answer directly now how we're actually solving this problem right how we can actually solve this problem see one idea is you know you can it you can uh make sure that each weight uh each edge weight to you can use uh copen on each edge weight and then you can run dextras you can uh like you can backtrack again and you can make every edge to buy two and then you can run dextras and then you can compute the minimum result of all the things right but that will give you a time limit exceeded for sure for First thing that is the brute force approach if you want to try at least for a time limit accident now what is the optimal approach the optimal approach is let us say like uh, you know uh, this graph as an example now you know we need to travel from one to six right we need to travel from one to six so now what i'll be doing i'll be going to every edge i'll be going to every edge and you know see it is similar to what i have uh, told you previously like what is the brute force approach uh, that we'll try uh, we, we will go to every edge and we'll make it by two and run dextras on that graph so you know uh, the solution builds on top of that idea so if you can compute uh, if you can pre-compute the dextras uh, algorithm and you can store that result and you can uh, you know use the edge weights and you can compute so let us see how actually we can do that see here we need to travel from 1 to 6 right now see i'll i'll take this first edge weight uh, which is 1 to 2 right which is 1 to 2 it is giving me uh, an edge weight of 10 now how i'll be computing see first of all uh, first of all uh, what is dextras algorithm like it will uh, uh, give you from one source to uh, all other nodes shortest paths right so if you are giving a uh, one source it will give you the shortest path to all destinations from the source node right so first of all i'll apply dextras from one so now i'm applying dextras from the source node one right from the source node one now what i'll be getting the shortest paths see i'll be uh, from one to one it will give me a zero from one to two uh, it will the shortest path will be 10 and from one to three the shortest path will be 30 right uh, from one to four the shortest path will be 40 from 1 to 5 the shortest path will be 70 and from 1 to 6 and from 1 to 6 the shortest path will be 70 right uh, sorry 80 so first of all uh, you run dextras from the starting node right this is our uh, starting node so i have uh, run the dextras from the starting node and i have stored this array right i have stored this array now I'll run the dextras from the ending node, right? From the ending node, I'll I'll be running the dextras, which is six here, right? Which is six here. Now from six to six, right? Yeah, first thing. Yeah, from six to six, the distance is zero, and from six to five, the shortest path cost will be ten, right? 
from 6 to 4 the shortest path will be 40 and from 6 to 3 the shortest path will be 50 and from 6 to 2 the shortest path will be 70 and from 6 to 1 the shortest path will be 80 right so so I have uh, ran the dextras from the starting node and from the ending node so I have pre-computed my dextras results and I have stored in an array now I'll go to each and every edge see from uh, let us say I'm I'm going from uh, I, I, I'm taking 1 to 2 edge right which is giving me an edge weight of 10 right which is giving me an edge weight of 10 now what I'll do I'll, I'll, I'll take the result from starting node to 1 what is the shortest distance that I'm taking to reach from my starting node to 1 which is 1 to 1 right plus and I'll make this edge weight as by 2 which is 10 by 2 right and and I'll be taking uh, from 2 to n right uh, what is the shortest path that I'm taking from my end to node 2 right from my end to node 2 here right so here from 2 to 6 right from 2 to 6 so this is the uh, result that will be computed so here this is 0 and 10 by 2 is 5 and from 2 to 6 here we already stored how much cost it will be taking that is 70 right that is 70 so here the total cost if we if we are using the coupon on this first edge then uh, we are uh, we are getting a cost of 75 let us see what other cases so so you need to iterate on every edge and you need to compute uh, all the like uh, you need to use the coupon on all the edges and compute it and you need to take the minimum out of all of that so let us say uh, if i if i use coupon let us say if i use coupon on this 2 comma 3 edge right so now what will be uh, happening see here uh, 2 to 3 edge is containing an edge weight of 20 now what i'll be doing is from starting to node 2 what is the shortest path and from 3 to end what is the shortest path i'll be taking that and i'll be making it as by 2 uh, and I'll, I'll i'll compute the result right so here from what is the shortest path from starting to node 2 that is 10 right so that is 10 now we'll be using the coupon on this edge weight which will give us 20 by 2 and what is the shortest path from 3 to end that is 50 right that is 50 so so we'll be taking so here so the cost will be 70 right so the cost will be 70 so here if we use the coupon on the 2 comma 3 edge then the cost we are getting as 70 right now if we if we try to use this coupon on this 3 comma 5 edge see let us say i'm using the coupon on 3 comma 5 edge so what that will be you know uh, see first you need to add the shortest path from the starting and from this node to end so what is the shortest path from starting to 3 that is 30 right that is 30 so we'll add 30 and what is the edge weight here that is 40 right so we'll we'll use the open on that edge so that will give you 40 by 2 now what is the shortest path from 5 to end that will be 10 right that will be 10 so yeah so now what is the cost what is the cost that is 60 right so this is what the main institution so uh, you'll be you'll be going to every edge you'll be going to so uh, you know the best the best cost that we can get in this graph is 60 so so what is the main institution over here you know uh, first of all you need to use dextras from starting node you know use dextras from starting node and store the results and then use dextras from the ending node right from the end node and then go to every edge go to every edge and you know use the open on that edge uh, you 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 have already saw here right so how will be how will be using the open you'll be uh, making the edge weight as by 2 and uh, what is the uh, shortest distance from starting to that node and the other end to the ending node so you'll be adding those distances and making it as by 2 and you'll you'll iterate all the edges and you need to iterate all the edges and you need to compute the minimum cost right and you need to compute the minimum cost see here uh, since it is a uh, unidirectional uh, graph so you need to reverse the graph you need to reverse the graph when you are applying the dextras from the end node right see here here uh, here the graph is in this direction if i want to get uh, you know dextras from uh, in the point of view of 6 then i need to reverse this graph then only i can i can compute uh, these shortest paths right so this is what the main institution so this is one of the approach that you can use this is one of the approach that you can use 
and uh, what is the other approach see it uh, the other approach uh, the other approach is simple uh, you know you can you can take a priority queue uh, you can take a priority queue and uh, you can uh, use the right stress uh, in a in a normal manner but using an extra stick so in general in general uh, what you will be sending that is you will be sending a distance from a node distance from a node in the dijkstra's right so in general you will be sending a distance from a node in the dijkstra's now what you will be sending over here is instead of that distance from a node comma some flag value right you will be sending some flag value now uh, you know uh, this flag indicates whether you have already used the coupon or you have didn't use the coupon right and uh, even in the process like uh, in the priority uh, in the extra queue you will be using a visited a visited node right instead of uh, uh, like calculating for calculating the sake of distances so instead of using that you will be using an array of with visited of node and flag you know in this you need to store the distances right so in this uh, in this thing you need to store the distances so this is how the second approach can be done you have you need to insert uh, an extra parameter of flag which will indicate you whether you have used a coupon or not until that edge until that edge and by using that flag as an additional parameter it can it can keep you a track of that and you know it can uh, uh, it can make you uh, compute uh, to the result right so that is how the other approach can be done and you know see here uh, I'll, I'll i'll just quickly show my code like how i have done in my first approach see here here uh, i'll be uh, i have taken a priority queue and this is my distance see here this is a normal dijkstra's algorithm so yeah here in this adjacency list i have one i have stored in the graph and other adjacency list i have used to reverse my graph right and then i have uh, calculated from my starting node and then i have calculated dijkstra's from my ending node and then i have computed for every node for every node you know uh, taking the distance from starting to that node and the other end to the ending node and making it as weight by 2 and i am computing the minimum of all the nodes so that is how uh, i'll i'll just attach this code you can uh, find it and if there are any doubts please ping me below